Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Shaving with Rich. And uh, I am excited for this shave today because today's shave is with one of my favorite summer scents. And this is a refreshing, cold, chilling, thrilling, invigorating shave. That being said, you may have seen the green, so you're gonna know that this is sterling, but let me do the true reveal right now so you guys can see what scent you should consider. If you like cold, invigorating, chilling, and thrilling summer shaves. Iced pineapple, guys. Sterling Soap Company Iced Pineapple. Now this stuff is amazing. It smells great. The uh, scent strength on it is pretty dang good. It's it's definitely takes no effort at all to smell it. I wouldn't call it a 10 on the scent strength, but it is right there. And you can just pick up the menthol, but not enough to take away from the actual scent of the pineapple. So this is great. There's enough menthol in it to make it chill, make it really nice. Not so much that it takes away from the scent of the pineapple itself, so it's just a perfect balance. We'll be using some iced pineapple aftershave from Sterling Soap Company. A nice pairing. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and leave in the comments below a link to pick up this stuff if you want it. And I'm improvising today with my aftershave post shave balm we'll say and instead of having iced pineapple we're going to use sterling gin and tonic so that's another uh, like citrusy more kind of on the citrus end um, balm so it's a close enough match but before we get into the shave <clears throat> I'm gonna actually just to enhance I'm going to use some uh, of their beard oil or post shave or uh, pre shave oil. And this is mentha. So this is potent. This stuff is just menthol. I mean, you can definitely smell it. But I really want to just feel the menthol in the shave today. This stuff smells potent. <laughs> And we'll just say, I mean, it's it's pretty pretty strong stuff. For those of you guys who like over the top, like make your eyes water stuff, it's more kind of like on that end where it smells like straight menthol. <clears throat> but because it's going to be in my pre-shave, once I get that uh, lather mixing in, I'm just going to fill, you know, the menthol. But I don't think it's going to overpower too much. Anyways. So that's how you get a great, great, chilling, thrilling, cold summer shave. So let's do it. I'm going to be using this razor today, right here. And this is the Prismatic Razor from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Really nice. Kind of a short, shorter handle, but fantastic knurling on it. I'll also leave a link here because this is definitely a fantastic razor. This has a complete channel, open channel here. I'll take the handle off so you can see it. That channel is fantastic for taking down good growth like this. But it's not overly aggressive, so it's nothing to be scared of but it's a step up. It's kind of like right there in the middle, I would say. Now as far as the head, the scalp on there I like. It adds, it acts, I think it adds a kind of a 
different feeling on your face as it goes down you can kind of feel that um, maybe on the glide there's you know I'm not sure if that adds a little bit to it it probably does just a not a huge noticeable amount but overall it's just kind of a cool feeling I like it so fantastic razor guys and it's priced really well as well I believe uh, that it's like $24.99 so it's fantastic let's get into the shave guys and uh, before we do that let me just tell you a couple more things and we'll get into the shave we'll speed it up so we can still keep this video pretty short alright so we're gonna be using my Big Shave West 3 Nathan Clark Illuminati shave brush here fantastic beautiful uh, really nice synthetic uh, not on it it's gonna be great I am shaving in my Big Shave West 3 shirt I don't know how well you guys can see it but I figured it's time to break that out for a shave so that's my shave shirt of the day let's get on to the shave what do you say I'll even walk you through it so we're just starting out with some pre-shave from Sterling Soap. This is mentha. So this smells very, very potent. It isn't so potent on your face that it's going to make your eyes water, but it definitely smells uh, like menthol a lot. Kind of like the medicine type uh, mentha smell. Anyways, you're using a Nathan Clark brush from Big Shave West. Synthetic knot loading up a little bit of the soap and applying it and uh, of course I've got some of that pre-shave oil on my face already underneath which will assist with the first pass at least and uh, it's just gonna be really nice shouldn't leave too much uh, residual after that as far as pre-shave goes usually you know it's gonna help on the first uh, pass it will soften it some but it's not going to be overly uh, strong on the effect on you know different passes second pass third pass or cleanups anything like that uh, but it's really nice it does kind of soften the skin a little bit soften the hairs and uh, I definitely think that it was a good shaving experience as far as uh, using that pre-shave oil some people like it, some people don't. Something that's definitely worth a try uh, for your shaves. Just finishing up the first pass here. And going back to the puck, just uh, why not? Not getting too crazy uh, with the lather as far as like bowl lather or anything like that, but. Uh, it's definitely very slick this soap so it works it's very versatile on how you use it and just by doing the face lather I was able to you can see what I was able just to pull from the brush in that little time really enjoying using this prismatic from Phoenix Artisan accoutrements fantastic fantastic razor uh, even with the decent amount of growth it will take down that growth with ease no problems at all. Nice face feel as far as the razor is concerned on your face. Uh, that scallop really is a, a nice feature in my opinion. And the plate is built very well and it has a opening uh, all the way through with no with uh, that's completely open. No breaks or other supports in it. And that just help assists with the pass through the hair and the lather. Also the scallop as you may have noticed, leaves can, if you shave with it in the right way, kind of have that ef effect, kind of like the double open comb where it le leaves a little bit of residual on your face. It does depending on how you use the razor. Um, so this is a, a step up. It's not quite as mild as um, some of the better known daily drivers. Um, but it, it definitely is not overly aggressive for anyone that might have some hesitation towards uh, aggressive razors. Um, this is definitely um, something that I like and I think it should be considered for anybody's shaved in. 
it could be used as a daily driver in my opinion it's just a, it, it's a step up in aggressiveness so it makes it a little bit more efficient fantastic just finishing up here uh, with the cleanup I noticed a little bit uh, on my face and I just uh, wanted to be extra particular <laughs> alright that was awesome I'm still feeling that menthol just on my face especially like if there's like got the AC on or whatever you can feel any draft of air it's definitely gonna like enhance that feeling very nice anyways I got a nice shave as you can see uh, I did do a little bit of a cleanup here at the end where I noticed it just using what was left over in the brush and the slickness on this soap is awesome so it worked out great I knew I could get away with it with this soap all right guys after shave let's do it this stuff smells fantastic and I can't wait to add a little bit extra menthol to this whole experience oh, yeah. oh, man. that is good <laughs> that is good all right mmm fantastic Whoa post shave balm here to finish it up mm. and that that right there whew, that menthol is great the smells great the feelings great that was a great shave all right we'll see you guys in the next episode of Shaving with Rich. Take care. As always, thanks for watching. And if you want to be notified when my videos come out, just click the bell next to the subscription. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.